so here we have the sworn oxidation. Here's the simple reaction up here. You use oxyl chloride, EMSO, and a strong base, usually trimethyl amine. And then you have two sequences to the mechanism. First sequence basically just provides you with this at the end, so you can use that to make carbonyl. So basically you start with the MSO, it has this resonance structure, and then basically you're going to get the negative charge here, or the pi bond here, going and attacking the carbonyl carbon and kicking off the chloride. Next step is the chloride just comes back in and kicks off this whole big the sulfur, leaving you with this sole intermediate. Next, you take a base, usually the triethyl amine, deprotonate one of the carbons off the sulfur. Once you deprotonate it and you have that carboanion, the carbon's not happy whatsoever, it's going to attack anything that's positive. This hydrogen right here is prime, it attacks that hydrogen, pulls it up to it, and the bond then comes over and it helps to make a double bond with the oxygen carbonyl and then the subsequent bond gets kicked up to the sulfur making them now a neutral molecule and you're left with your oxidation. It's basically the sworn oxidation. Zoom in so you guys can get temperatures usually negative 78 degrees Celsius just thought throw that in there you might want to add